Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so how is uh, so how are you guys doing? I I can't really talk to you guys, but how are you guys doing? Uh, I am here to talk to you guys about uh, what is it? Uh, the schmoes. The schmoes know. Schmoes know. I want to pay tribute to them, to say thank you, uh, to them because they are. They are very important to me, and they are very, they are very, uh, great, very, uh, great people, uh, to talk about, uh, and I want to pay tribute to them. I'm like, I should really, I should really do a tribute video to these people that made me love movies, and, yeah, uh, I should, and, uh, yeah, so this is a very special video uh this is a very passionate video so be careful uh yeah be i i've, I've warned you this is i'm gonna warn you this is passionate uh and yes yes uh so the schmoes uh first they started their channel in 2008 their first video was of the oliver stone movie w and then they started making more reviews as they went on and on and in 2011, uh, I'm giving the history, by the way. In 2011, they started their podcast, I think in March, where they had Katie Sackoff, who will later on be their co-host. They kept on doing reviews. They still keep on doing reviews. They, they do more on their channel now. Uh, they do, like, uh, TV reviews. They do movie reviews. They do all kinds of great stuff. They do, like, and, yeah, now their podcast, they talk about movie news. They talk about movies they interview people on their podcast and yes uh and then they wanted to bring on a co-host so they brought in Catherine Reitman the daughter of director Ivan Reitman and brother and uh sister of Jason Reitman uh and yes and that is when they started uh started doing doing their uh videos and then uh what else uh then later on, Catherine Dreitman got busy with some stuff with her YouTube channel breaking it down, which, by the way, I wish she does more of, but she could do what she wants. I've heard she had a child, and at good good for her. Uh, I mean, sometimes life has to get in the way uh, of doing YouTube stuff, but yeah, uh, which is really good. And then they brought off... Bra bra uh, Brought on, I have a speech impediment there. Katie Sackoff, uh, who from Battle Scarred Galactica, uh, Longmire, and a whole bunch of other movies, and <laughs> she's been in a lot. Of Oculus recently, uh, the new Riddick movie, which I did not like, but I really liked her in it. But yeah, uh, so she started being in there, and she was a great co-host. I watch all kinds of old episodes uh, on the podcast channel. I'll get to that later. Uh, yes, and they had a bunch of great episodes, and in October of 2012, now we're in 2012, uh, they, they, uh, brought on the pit boss, uh, Ken Apzok, who is, who, as the producer, he's been a guest on the show numerous times, but this is his first time he's been on the podcast, and yes, uh, and he is a great person to have on the podcast and also in October was the debut of two other Schmoville characters that you'll see uh which are which are JTI who is now known as JTE Josh the Engineer last time it was Josh the Intern and the now co-host uh Tiffany Smith uh from uh DC All Axis and Fandango and she and she was part of G4 at the time and she came in and yeah uh that's 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 about Tiffany Smith and so they've started and in November of 2000 uh 2009 uh no and in November 29th uh what's his name what's his name uh Finstock, uh, Bobby Finstock, aka Tom Dag, Tom Dagnito. Actually, his real name's Tom Dagnito, but uh, he goes by Bobby Finstock. Uh, joined uh, 
joined the podcast and brought some interesting uh, stuff to the podcast, and just he was just great to have. They also have like other people like Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman, John the Flick Pick. Uh, a lot of people I love watching. Uh, John the Flick Pick. Uh, who else? Uh, yeah, Jeremy Johns has been on there a bunch of times. Great Drake, and yeah, and so in two and then in two thousand and thirteen, they they from two thousand twelve they've started doing stuff on two thousand thirteen they started doing stuff on Toad Hop, and it's great. Uh, the stuff on Toad Hop was great. That's when I started watching. I started watching live uh, in in August of two thousand thirteen, and then I now I watch live every week uh, religiously. And yeah, uh, they're they're great. They're they're very interesting people to talk to. They're a great crew. You could tell that they have a lot of chemistry with with one another. And yeah, so let me get back to the history of them. So in two thousand thirteen, uh, their days at Toad Hop stopped. They they stopped uh, doing live shows at Toad Hop. They did some stuff. They did some pre recorded shows, uh, and then they did some Google Hangouts as well for their podcast. But in April of this year is when the podcast phase five their fifth phase of the podcast came into battle with from the afterbus tv studio and man that studio looks nice it's just nice to listen and you could see their faces because there was a black box but like it doesn't really matter honestly like it doesn't really matter if they have that black box or if they don't have that black that those black that black uh stuff and they have the boxes in that, that honestly doesn't really matter. It matters how well their videos are and how how awesome how awesome they are. And yeah, it's just it, it's great. Uh, and they are just terrific, like sounding people. I would love to meet all of them one day. And so also, this brought in uh, Alicia Malone, who is an Australian girl, and now she calls the show almost weekly uh she uh she has her own website malone's movie minutes she was on amc movie talk uh christian harloff joined amc movie talk and i think april or may i uh, probably april of uh of uh 2014 and yeah and he's great on there i watch amc movie talk i watch all movie reviewers they they're the ones that got me in more than a lot of actual critics probably the only one that's inspired me the most is roger ebert and yeah, uh, that's that's not a critic on YouTube. Uh, and yeah, uh, he's he's great, uh, uh, Roger Ebert. But Dave honestly inspired me more than Roger Ebert. I'm not saying they have more experience than Roger Ebert because Roger Ebert's older. Life experience, I'm talking about, not well. Also, with movies, uh, they they do have a lot of experience. I think Christian worked for WWE. I think Ken Apsoff worked for WWE. Uh, they've all worked, uh, Mark Ellis is a stand-up comedian, and so you can tell Christian Harloff has been a stand-up comedian, Ken Napsok, and you can tell they're, they're, uh, they're all really funny guys, most, all, every single one of them is really funny in some way, in some shape or form, they all have a great sense of humor, and you can really see that, and yeah, uh, they are just great, and yes, uh, who else is next, uh, what else, uh, and they do a lot of great stuff, and yeah, uh, I'd love to meet them one day. They're, one, their fan page is great, okay. They're, they're, how they respond to their fans is just unbelievable. Like, really unbelievable. They are just some of the best fan bases out there, like, like, uh, like really, for a YouTube channel, it's like all cool people, not like PewDiePie or freaking... Because it is a lot of people, but it's not, like, as much as people of PewDiePie. I mean, like, who watches PewDiePie? Wow, that's a good entertainer. No, the people that watch the schmoes know, think they're good entertainers, like myself. Not like PewDiePie, who's just, like, a Swedish man talking about games all the fucking time. They actually work hard. They came from just recording videos in the freaking room to, to a freaking high-level podcast, and they got there all by themselves. PewDiePie just started playing games, and now he's just still playing freaking games. And yes, he, they're passionate. Why Why do they only have a 100,000? Yes, that's a lot, but you know what? They should have more. They should have like a million. It, it's absurd, really. 
Really, it's absurd uh, that they don't have that much. And they are great. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. They are great. They are terrific. They're, they're great. Their YouTube videos are entertaining. They're still entertaining to this day. What I want to say is thank you, Schmozno. Thank you uh, for this great opportunity for letting me watch you. You guys are the best. Keep at what you're doing. You you guys interviewed, and they also interviewed some great celebrities like Jesse Eisenberg and Andy Serkis and like Sean Astin. They, they had a lot of great guests. Just look at all their guests. You can just like find where all their guests are and they're just all great. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they have better guests. They, I mean, they still have the greatest guests, but yeah, uh, they're real, genuine guys uh, about just talking about movies. It feels like you're talking about movies with them. So you know what? Check out the Schmoes Know if you haven't. And if you're a movie fan, you should definitely get into that. Now, thank you for checking out this video. Uh, if you have, I hope you liked it. Uh, this, this isn't a video that I usually do. This is a very passionate video. This is one of the most passionate videos I've done. I like doing passionate videos, even though they don't get much views. I still like doing them. So, you know what? Check out the Schmoes No. Also, check out Chris Stockman. Check out Jeremy Johns. Check out the Flick Pick. You don't have to like them. That's the best thing. You don't have to agree with them. You just have to be mature about it if you don't like them, if you don't like them. But you, 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 uh, chances are I think you'll like them if you like movies. Alright, guys. Take care. Bye.